Hello everyone, it's Kyle Henderson of NFPreps.com. Week 2 of the high school football season, the game of the week. St. Pius taking on the St. Michael's Horsemen. Each team, big winners last week in week 1. We got the Horsemen winning by 7. At the big school level, the Las Cruces Bulldogs ranked number 1 in the NFPreps.com. Top 25, host the Eldorado Eagles in Las Cruces. And I know the Eagles took a step back, losing to a Trisco Heritage last week. 15 to 14, but there you see it right there. They got speed. This is their running back, George Pacheco. A lot of players didn't play for the Atrisco game. Expect Eldorado to come out swinging. Weekly awards, week two player of the week and the team of the week. First, we start with Trevor Eulen back out of Artesia High School. 13 for 20 passing and a 56 to seven win over Lovington. Threw for 350 yards and five touchdown. Kid is on fire. Team of the week, the Atrisco Heritage Jaguars beat the Eldorado Eagles. Yes, that's not a typo. 15 to 14. Props to first year head coach Patrick Johnson. Now for our NFPreps.com coaching game ball. Guess who it goes to? Coach Rico Marcelli out of Valley High School. The Valley Vikings upset Siebel at 31 to 28. Plays of the week. We're going to let Coach Lucero LaCueva kick it off for the first one. He's explosive, you know, he hadn't been getting as much publicity as some of these other guys, but, you know, he's one of the fastest backs I've ever seen and I've ever coached, and he just, he, it's, he's fun to watch. Very fun to watch indeed. Michael Rose out of La Cueva had a stellar night rushing for over 130 yards against Cleveland in a 45-21 victory. Rose is also the Metro State Farm Player of the Week. Thursday night, Joseph Sears Ortega blew up, played big time. First touchdown of the season is a 55-yard punt return. He also had a 50-yard touchdown reception from Reed Hendricks. And we're going to see an interception return that nearly went to the house as well. Quarterback Angel Gonzalez lofts it up. Picked by Josie Sears Ortega. Kid blew up Thursday night. Unfortunately, the Volcano Hawks did lose to Manzano 35-34. to This is Kyle Henderson of nmpreps.com. High school football lives here.